Guys, make sure to stay until the end. We want to share one good advice with you. If you make that simple mistake, you may end up spending thousands of dollars on parts and repairs, diagnostics that you may actually not even need. Make sure to stay until the end. We'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having Chrysler 300 this generation right here from year 2014 to year 2024. If you need to find guys where the fuel injectors, fuses and relays are located in case you have problem with fuel injector. For any of you that want to see how to test fuel injector or symptoms of bad fuel injectors, we'll have videos on our YouTube channels that will teach you all about that. If you need to buy new fuel injectors, guys, parts, tools at a good price, quick shipping that way do not waste money and time we'll share the information in the video below for your convenience let's start on it now so guys before we start let us tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here at the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we guys do that because our mission in the shop is to save as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel like the videos that way we can keep making these free videos we show you how to fix engines transmission bodywork fuses relays all that stuff guys and if you need to buy cheap parts and tools at a good price quick shipping we'll put a link in the description of the video below guys check out our youtube channels we have more than 15,000 free repair videos that can save you thousands of dollars in future repairs. So fuel injectors guys, which uh, fuses and relays we need to check, we will demonstrate on this Chrysler 300. There is very limited information, we will explain what we know about that stuff. We need to open first the hood, we will be working two fuse boxes, the first one is next to the engine. So here, okay, on the passenger side next to the engine you have that fuse box, press the tabs, pull the cover out and bound you have a fuse box with a layout like this one here before we continue let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays guys it's very important to always test your fuses and relays why sometimes you may think you have a good fuse guys it's hard to tell look at those fuses right and sometimes okay you pull the fuse okay i'm going to get the fuse pour and i'm going to remove one fuse i want to i want to show you on that 20 amp fuse sometimes it's very unclear if that fuse is burned or not you may not clearly see it so always guys test them because if you don't test the fuse you assume it's good you end up spending money time and diagnostics for problems that do not exist guys so you can just waste your money and time always test your fuses always test relays we will put links in the description of the video below where you can find guys a video for testing a fuse and testing a relay that will explain everything that you need to do if you guys need to buy any parts, tools for your Dodge Ram, fuses, relays, at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste money and time, we're going to put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience, please check it out. So for the fuel injectors now, guys, multiple fuses will need to be checked, there is very limited information, but all these are engine management fuses, so we need to check them if you have problems with injectors, and if you want to see how to test fuel injector, we'll have videos on our YouTube channels. Come in that row of fuses right here, even if you have a missing fuse, you count the spot, you start with 28, 29, 30, 31. Fuse 31 is very important fuse. Then you go to 34, 35 right here. Then fuse 37, you need to also check guys, uh, after 37 relay 63, known as ASD relay. The next step we need to open the trunk, we have another fuse box, leave the carpet liner up. You see right here guys, that's a spare tire car battery and behind it you have a fuse box, that's a closer look of the same fuse box. Press the tabs here, pull the cover out and you have that layout here specifically we need to check relay 29 and relay 14 if yours is equipped with that one those are the main things we need to check for the fuel injectors fuses and relays so guys that generation chrysler 300 has all kinds of different size of fuses guys you can see different fuses relays uh, that's the engine fuse box that's the trunk fuse box those could be really hard to find some of them guys and if you're in the middle of nowhere you need a replacement you cannot get one you may be stuck guys so we will recommend to buy some put in the glove box uh, for peace of mind keep some spare ones uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below where you can get them at a good price quick shipping that way you do not waste money and time hopefully the video was helpful guys thank you for watching see you next time